If Clinton got that upset discussing Lewinsky, imagine if the Today Show had asked about the women who told him no. Joining us now are Kathleen Willey and Juanita Broderick, uh, author of the new book, You'd Better Put Some Ice on That, How I Survived Being Raped by Bill Clinton. Uh, it's great to see both of you. Um, I have been thinking about both of you all day, and also Paula. Um, Juanita, I want to start with you. Uh, Bill Clinton did approach you, did he not, in 1992 to apologize, correct? Yeah. Yes, he did. It was in 1991. 91. I was in Little Rock at a uh, nursing home seminar. Someone comes to the door and says, I'm wanted in the hallway. I go out, and the man points down around the corner by the elevator. And so I go down there, and as I round the corner, there stands Bill Clinton with two of his Arkansas State Police Guards. And he rushes over to me, and he starts this profuse apology and saying, I'm so sorry for what I did. I'm a changed man. I'm just not the man I used to be. And even said, I'm a family man now. And I just looked at him, Laura, and I, I, I was just flabbergasted. And I said, you go to hell. And I walked off. And I could not believe it. And then the nurses that have, were with me followed me out. And they came over to me and they said, what did he want? And I told him. And then I began to feel a little bad that I had said that. I kept thinking, well, maybe he really meant that. Maybe he really was apologizing. And then what and happened? Then you realized, you, and you realized, fast, yeah. forward, fast forward, that he was running for president and you were going to perhaps be an obstacle to that? Right. That's exactly. A week later, after he apologized, he announced he was running for president. <laughs> a week later? Oh, that's really, that's really, yes. that's really subtle. That's really subtle. Kathleen Willey, yeah, you watched I, that interview uh, today, and I, I mean, I, I've got to say, I'm always stunned. Why am I stunned? He has not learned anything about this experience, Nothing. which is, he's actually Nothing. a smart guy, so I don't, I don't I'm, I'm, I'm almost speechless. Your reaction? I was speechless, too. I was outraged. I could not believe um, the words that were coming out of his mouth, and he was so arrogant and uh, pompous about the whole thing. He actually believes, I, I think he actually does believe that he didn't do anything wrong. And, you know, he, this blanket apology, I've apologized to everybody in the world. Well, okay, but he hasn't apologized to the people that he hurt and the people that he destroyed, the women that he destroyed. He hasn't apologized to me. He has not apologized to, um, to Paula. He apologized to Juanita, but as we see, there was a plan to that. There was a purpose for that. And he hasn't uh, apologized to Leslie or numerous other women who've come forward and said and told stories about it. He never will. He doesn't get it. It's just the way it is. Well, but he, he seems to think that he, but I mean, he handled it well. I mean, to watch that interview, he, he didn't say he would have done anything differently. I mean, look, everyone has, everybody makes mistakes in their lives. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. We all do. I mean, Lord knows, we all do. Um, but it, it's, you would think 20 years later you'd say, you know, I wish I could turn back the clock and, you know, show better judgment. But, I mean, I do that like 50 times a day. Like, why did I do that? But it's just a little, it's a little strange. Allison Camerata on CNN um, offered somewhat tepid critique of this performance. Let's watch. There could have been a, a more practiced answer, or one that I think alluded to the notion that the rules have changed in the past 20 years. Obviously, the rules were different, and that he would have done something perhaps differently today, or that he would say something differently about it today. He could have had a more practiced answer, uh, Juanita. I mean, uh, I, yeah. Oh, my god. <laughs> he gosh. could have also not portrayed himself <laughs> oh as a gosh. victim. How does he become the victim in all of this? Oh, I Go know. Ahead, Juanita. I know. I saw this decrepit, angry old man who was trying to play the victim card. The same man who 40 years ago raped me. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was disgusting. Well, uh, Kathleen, it would have been really amazing. I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm shocked that Melvin asked these questions, but it would have I been too. it would have been really amazing I if I he asked too. about asked about Juanita. 
you and the others. But he focused on Monica Lewinsky because I guess that was the impeachment. But I mean, even Joe Lockhart, let's just play this quickly. I want uh, Kathleen to react to this. Joe Lockhart, former White House press secretary, said this today. Let's watch. It highlights um, the vast difference between what it was like 20 years ago and today. I think in that interview, he succumbed to uh, being the victim and feeling victimized. <laughs> victimized, <laughs> Kathleen. Uh, if he apologized yeah, to you, victim. Tiffany. He's, you know, he, he left the White House $16 million in debt. Well, let me tell you about what being in debt is like and not being able to get a meaningful job after being through all of that. And he hired all, this, all these women to work in his office, and he has a sexual, sexual harassment policy in Arkansas. Yeah, well, he probably had a lot of women around so he could, you know, assault them. And, you know, there's no, there's no sexual harassment policy in, in Arkansas. There never was one. There never was one. Kathleen, and, I mean, if, he, just, just, Kathleen if he had called you today and said, look, I know I came off bad on that interview, but I'm really sorry for causing you pain. I'm sorry for what I did. Would you accept his apology? No, I tell him the same thing that Juanita told him. Which would I be? I tell him to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Juanita, same question. If he calls you today, I mean, look, everybody can be redeemed, right? We're supposed to believe in redemption, all of us. I mean, if, if most of us do. I mean, oh, I, I don't believe, yeah. I don't believe there's any redemption in regard to Bill and Hillary Clinton. I do not believe that. And, and I would probably tell him the same thing again today. All right. Thank you both for I being mean, here. I mean, I suffer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you both for being here tonight and uh, sharing your Glad perspective. To be here.